안녕하세요. 오랜만에 택배가 도착을 했습니다. 그래서 택배 언박싱을 오늘 해보겠습니다. 일단 한번 뜯어보죠. 항상 뜯기 전에 주소 택을 떼줍니다. 과연 어떤 물건이 왔을지. 아, 참고로 요거는 제가 선물 받은 게 아니고 제 돈으로 직접 구매를 한 겁니다. 따라다라따. 아, 너무 졸립니다. 너무 피곤해요. 오! 역시나 박스 안에 또 박스가. 네. 반스 운동화입니다. 반스 제가 과연 어떤 운동화를 샀는지 어 정말 오랜만에 보는 고무줄 포장이네요. 자 오늘의 아이템 빠밤 네 반스 뮬입니다 뮬 아네 아주 최고의 요즘 핫한 아이템 뮬이죠 뮬 패션 피플들만 신는다는 그 뮬입니다 어, 일단 어, 무게는 좀 있네요 무게감은 좀 있습니다 아 이렇게 반스 뮬이에요 뮬 어, 굽이 아, 높네요 아주 만족스러운 군 높이입니다 네, 반 쓰네요 네. 뭐, 이, 뭐 여름 아이템인데 뭐 여름이 다 끝나가는 이 8월 말에 이걸 왜 샀냐 뭐 기본템 아니겠습니까 기본템 인기 아이템이 아닌 더 이상은 뮬은 인기 아이템이 아닙니다 기본템입니다 제가 한번 신어 보도록 하겠습니다 사이즈는 맞는지 제가 발이 250인데 반스 250입니다 뮬제 생애 첫 뮬입니다 면 100% 네. 한번 신어 보도록 하겠어요 어, 어떻게 신지 이거를 치우고 아이고 아이고 아주 사이즈가 아주 딱입니다. 후기 끝 <웃음> 반스 뮤 <웃음> 운동해야지. 아니 좀 그냥 슬랙스에 그냥 검은색 슬랙스에 그냥 신으면 되겠죠? 편하게 운동하도록 하겠습니다 
know the majority owner and remains involved for help, you know, I give advice, I give support, and anything I can do, I'm always there. And I've been a that for about two and a half years. What really grew me and, and really made me decide to stay with recyclers and work full time was seeing some of the workers, of the shorting ladies that, that would be working, you know, they work for you know, relatively low wages, but were able to be committed to their job and really be dedicated. And I felt committed to actually being part of that initiative. We have a very good relationship. You know, we've, we've been very close from childhood. Um, there was a time when I had very short hair and they thought, somebody thought that we were twins because we were the same size. So we were very close and I trust him. And I, I know that uh, he actually wants me to succeed. And when you have that kind of person that's running your company, it's like, like you can't have it better than that. <laughs> the brother and sister tandem has worked well. So much so that Recyclers was invited to Brussels for a very special honor. So we're here to receive the King Baduan Foundation uh, Africa Development Prize. Um, we award it once every two years, and uh, Recyclers is the, uh, the winner for 2019. So that means that we're going to be given the prize by His Royal Majesty the King and the Queen of Belgium. And we always talk about how there are a lot of challenges working where we work and in the field that we work in. Um, so when you have things of this type of nature, recognition, it makes you feel happy and also energized. And we are delighted that representatives of the Nigerian organization Recyclers are present here to receive the King of Work African Development Prize 2018-2019. The award doesn't just earn them a seat next to royalty. They'll get a cash prize of more than $225,000 to invest in the company. There were many months you know, where we couldn't pay salaries on time. You know, I remember being scared to go to the office because there was no money. But we're very, very lucky because the staff, you know, regardless, they, they will still come to work. And they will still work because they believed in what we were doing. We at this we're going to use the funds to expand and invest in more shops, more um, hubs. So we're going to be able to spend money on important things that would make us a better company um, and, you know, make ourselves more attractive, attractive to investors. But King Bad One Foundation is actually helping us to go to the next level. Bakis believes the impact of recyclers will lead to even better. Ah, 제가 오늘 쉬는 날인데. We are proud. 오늘 딱 하루 반 쉬는 날이어가지고. We hope this is going to be the beginning of many, many. 너무 피곤한데 어제도 운동 이제 조금밖에 안 했는데. 아까 언박싱을 했는데 4분 지났는데 지금 13분, 9분 운동했습니다. 오늘 여기까지만 하겠습니다. 내일부터 열심히 할게. 내일부터 열심히 할게. Our website for more change making stories. I'm Marisa Paul. Be sure to tune in next week for a new episode of African Voices. This box is the last one. Last one. Do you get frustrated? I wouldn't do this job if I get frustrated easily. These CEOs are looking to what's next. We are heavily uh. engaged with what electric planes can do. Uh. Moves into the future of travel. Hello. On the ground and in the air. The traveler's experience is getting a refresh on Excelen Business Traveler. Closing taps over ISIS's presence, they have met absolute devastation in their wake. 